Hi everybody, it's Celeste again and I am here with an unboxing today. It will actually be my first unboxing on YouTube. I've done a few of them on Instagram before but you know it's a bit more awkward just holding a camera and trying to pick things out. So today we are unboxing Enchanted Fandoms. Now I have opened the box but I have not had a look at what's inside yet so together we're gonna see. Now this box is based on the Umbrella Academy, the TV show. Um, I believe it's more based on the TV show than the comic books, so if you're looking for the comic books, probably not in here. But that's okay because I haven't read them. So when we open it, this is what we see. We have some rufflies and we have a spoiler card. Now I'm not gonna hold this box up here the entire time because I know that would be annoying, but I just thought if you want to see what it looks like at the first sort of opening, here it is. So what we have on top is our spoiler card. Now a lot of book boxes will do these. I'll also have a picture up on the screen to show you exactly the art. Um, but a lot of book boxes do this where they have the information on the inside. Um, I'm not going to have a look at that. We're going to read through that at the very end. Um, but yeah, it's got all the characters on it, which is really, really cool. <laughs> it's even got... Um, Cha Cha and Hazel in the background, just <laughs> little shadows. I think that's really cute. So what I love about Enchanted Fandoms is that they always include a recipe. Now, usually I do try to do the recipe, but as I don't have donut pans and I'm not really sure where to get one, I might have to leave this one out. But this is a recipe for Cha Cha's I Hate Sprinkles Donuts. I think it's really unique that Enchanted Fandoms does include a recipe with every single box that they do. I just think it's really, really fun and interactive and it's a way to get an item and go, I can make something from this. <laughs> and the second item is coffee. This is a glazed donut flavour. A medium roast. So this is for number five, who is obsessed with coffee. If you've seen the TV show, you know how obsessed he is to finding that perfect cup of coffee. Hopefully. This will be it, and he won't be too mad. Oh, how amazing. So Iron and Ink Designs have designed this little pin with the Umbrella Academy on it, which I think is really, really cool. Um, it's got two pins at the back, so it will really, really stick to you. Um, I love collecting pins like this, and even better is you can, considering how classy this looks as well, you could put this on like some sort of blazer that you wear to work, and no one will know. Alright, so our first candle in this box is for Hazel and Cha Cha, and it's flavoured raspberry donuts and coffee. This is by Mythic Glow Candles. Ooh, I've never heard of this uh, company. Always love finding new companies. Yeah, yeah, it smells very vanilla -y. Now, if you can see up the top, I'll also include pictures, but it has sprinkles up the top. Um, that's going to definitely be on my favourite shelf, easily. Um, yeah, but you can definitely smell the coffee in there as well, and I'm not really a coffee drinker or eater or anything like that. I know some people, like, eat coffee grounds, uh, um, but this actually smells really amazing. Like, the smell of coffee to me is usually just eh, but this is quite a stunning smell. Now this is why I said that there was um, a, the first candle, because I'd already seen that there was another tin, and this is by Little Mouse Bookshelf. Now I know that Enchanted Fandoms always um, include something by this company, well not always, but as many times as she possibly can. This is for number four, or Klaus, who is my favourite character. Um, and this smells like saffron and tobacco. Oh. It smells really good. It does smell really good. Just how I imagine Klaus to smell. No, I think I think Klaus will probably smell a bit dirtier, actually. More like, I've been sitting in a sewer for a week. Lamenting life. But this is really nice. And it has black sparkles, if my camera can pick that up. Alright, so we have a mystery box in here. I am not sure what is in this. Um, I also don't have scissors on me. So we are going to... We're going to be beasts. We are going to tear. We are going to be mini clouses and just rip it to shreds. Ugh. Like he does to his father's memory. See, it all comes full circle. Ooh, ooh. So it is a mug by Nightmares and Daydreams. Now this, I love their art. Their art is very clever. So we have all the characters. Let me just give it a, a model spin for a moment. 
I love it. <laughs> and Dolores. We cannot forget Dolores. If Dolores was not on here, I would be offended. Dolores is such an important character. Oh, so I picked up two things together. Um, the first are these really amazing bookmarks. These are by Bibliophile Prints. And so they have all the characters on them as little magnetic bookmarks. As little magnetic bookmarks. Now, if you've never seen magnetic bookmarks, what you do... Let me just see. Let me open one and I'll show you. Alright, so we've picked up Vanya. There. And what it does is it has two magnets on the inside. So when you have your book open at a certain page, you can just clip it on and it will stay on. See? You can turn that upside down. doesn't fall off because it's magnetic. I think they're a really clever idea and they're really safe on books. You know, you don't break the spine or you don't, you know, do the old tab at the corner of the page like I used to when I was a child. Yes, I do regret that. And yes, I still have books on my bookshelf with little tabs in it because... I couldn't control myself. So the next item is this notebook with all the characters on it. This is the same art from the spoiler card. So not only do you have art to put on your wall, you also have art to, well, use wherever. Now this um, does contain paper, obviously. I mean, I feel like that's pretty obvious that a notebook will contain paper. But this is also plain paper. So it doesn't have lines on it, which means you can draw on it, you can write on it, you can... Use it as toilet paper if that's how you so desire, though it might be a bit thick. We have ruffles. We have black and white ruffles. I love that. My cat will love that. My cat will seriously love that. Ooh, so... I really liked Alison in the show. I thought Alison was such a cool character, very creative. I also liked how she used her gift to get ahead in the world and then really regretted it. Um, I wonder how season two is going to go because going back in time and realizing that anything that happened to her in the future, including her child, no longer exists. So this is a little um, magnet for the fridge. I was about to say bookmark. It is a magnet. It is definitely magnet. And it says, I heard a rumor. So I really like so far how every character seems to have an item. You know, number five has coffee, Klaus has a candle, Alison has this. You know, it seems like it's trying to incorporate a lot of the big favorites in this show, which is really, really great. Oh, so we have an umbrella. We have an umbrella. Now, I don't think I have enough space to open it up here, which is a bit unfortunate, but, and on it, it has the Umbrella Academy symbol. Ah, so, all right, we have a little stringy bag and in it we have a necklace. Oh, I think it's a necklace or a bracelet. It could be either or, we will find out. Oh, it's like those little bags that you get piercings in. You know, when you buy a new piercing and they put them in these little plastic bags to make sure, you know, no germs get on it, which I'm thankful for, 100%. Yeah, yeah, it's a necklace. Well, it's definitely not long enough to be a necklace. And it has the umbrella on it. If you can see it, if not, picture on the screen. Oh, I almost picked up the big item at the bottom, but first I saw this little buddy hanging around. So this is a temporary tattoo. I think that's really, really cool. You can definitely feel part of the action without having somebody jam hot needles into your skin. Beautiful. All right, I have hit the bottom of the barrel and, oh, that, I'm not sure if that's a positive saying or not, but either way, I've hit the bottom of the box. And oh my God, you guys. <laughs> it's a bag for Umbrella Academy. It's got the logo put on there. I would try to read that, but uh, I've never spoken Latin before and I just, um, don't want to embarrass myself really because people will watch this and go, <laughs> you dickhead. That's not how you say oot. All right, so it's not even just a plain canvas bag. It has little areas to put things in. Oh, a bit of phone. Oh, and there's 
no, it's got a good bit of space. Like it's not a small bag at all. You can put a water bottle in the side here because oh, stretchy netting. It's like it's got little stockings on. Love it. And you can change this to be longer. Oh, I love it. Love it. Love it. I don't usually carry but oh, oh, and I can even use my hands carry it if I want to be real profesh. I can be so profesh. Um, yeah, no, I think this is a really great idea. I love that it's not a tiny little purse or something. It's an actual bag. But with this way, I think anyone, regardless of your taste, regardless of your fashion sense, can utilize this somewhere. It's amazing. And as promised, I am going to read out the spoiler card for you. So, for this Umbrella Academy Special Edition box, the spoiler card and notebook art were made by Eric McCarthy Art very good job so this was Eric McCarthy art I love how you caught the angsty slightly constipated look in Vanya's eyes so the number five coffee was by Burial Grounds Coffee Co now I don't know if it has any special ingredients due to it having a flavor so I'm not entirely sure if this is like vegan friendly or gluten free or anything like that so if you do have any special dietary requirements um, I do recommend you ask the company or Enchanted Fandoms because they will let you know of any special ingredient in there that you might not be able to eat. So the mug design was by Nightmare Daydreams. Love them. I have a few of their pieces either through Enchanted Fandoms or through their actual company themselves. So the next one is the Klaus Candle and that was done by Little Mouse Bookshelf as we know. Fantastic job. Perfect smell. The bookmark set, the uh, magnetic bookmarks, that was by Bibliophile Prints, as I think we also knew that one. The enamel pin, pin was by Iron and Ink Designs. The necklace was by Alyssa J Designs. I did think that, but I didn't want to say it just in case it was another company and then it's a bit offensive. Uh, the hazel and cha-cha candle is by Mythic Glow Candles, which is pretty cool. Um, really great job on the little sprinkles on top, loved it. Um, the messenger bag, okay, so the messenger bag, the umbrella, the magnet and tattoo, I believe, were all just by Enchanted Fandoms herself. And the recipe card was by Iron and Ink Designs, which was really cool. So, if you're looking at things that Enchanted Fandoms does, not only do they do book boxes, but they do these amazing glasses. And you can have them custom made as well. So while these are for a certain book series, you can have them custom made with your name. I did have one made for my mother one year with her name on it for her birthday. Just a little, you know, special treat. Alright everybody, thank you for watching. It's been such a joy to unbox this for you. I love this company. I love all the people who create such amazing things for book boxes like this. It's not easy and these people are really, really talented. Question of the day. Let's have a question of the day. What are you watching on TV right now? It could be The Umbrella Academy or, or could be something else. If you are watching or if you have watched Good Omens, please let me know if it's worth it because I do want to watch it. I just don't have access to it now. But if it's worth it, I will find access. Um, so as for that, please tell me what you are watching, whether it's good, whether it's bleh, whether it's just trash, throw in the bin. Let me know so I know whether or not to watch it or to avoid it with a barge pole. Alright, thank you very much and see you in my next video. Bye bye.